my name is uh, Brecht van Damme. I'm coming from Belgium. I'm also known as Jean. That's my nickname. So um, it's a little bit uh, French, eh, Jean. So it's hard to pronounce in English. But uh, I'm 36 years old. Um, I'm, uh, I'm, runner. I'm running because I love it. Uh, I love the sport. I like the outdoors. Um, I'm currently married uh, and I have two kids, a twin of seven years old. Um, luckily, I'm allowed to be that as much absent for my uh, training uh, during my preparation. So I'm already grateful for that. Uh, so I'm also running for them, uh, for my country and for my team, of course, because we're uh, together with six other participants from Belgium participating. And we will be joining up in Nashville to uh, participate in this week. Uh, but this is an, a unique event, so we're looking forward to it. And I'm definitely looking forward to this experience. I've run uh, in total, now I have to think, four backyards. Uh, my first one was only last year um, in Antwerp. And this year I participated again in the same uh, backyard. And that first backyard, uh, I've done 38 loops. Um, I was the assist for the winner in the Antwerp backyard in 2022. That gave me a, a ticket for the team uh, satellite world championship and uh, 22 in October. Uh, and there I run 60 hours, uh, 60 loops. Um, and yeah, that was the event where we, uh, as a Belgium team, broke the world record with Marijn and Ivo, uh, with Frank and Kevin. So it was a unique event and I... Uh, it. it I gained a lot of experience running with them uh, in that event. And then this year I've done the Antwerp Backyard again, which I won. And then uh, I also participated in the Legend Backyard uh, with an assist of 63, my personal record, uh, 63 hours um, as an assist for uh, Fodor Slizzard, who is also participating, a Hungarian runner uh, in this week. So uh, only four, but within those four uh, backyards, I gained a lot of experience. Uh, so I'm looking forward for this week. Uh, first of all, I started running because uh, I wanted to stay fit. Uh, I was in uh, the Belgium Armed Forces. Uh, I always liked running as uh, was it when I was a kid. Uh, but I always uh, looked for challenges uh, to push me, uh, to, to push the boundaries of my limits. And that's why I started ultra running and that's why I started backyard running because it's, it looks easy, but it actually it isn't. Uh, after a while, you have to really push yourself out of your comfort zone and, uh, and then you discover things about yourself, what you're capable of and what you're not capable of. So that's why backyard ultra was uh, such a, uh, was such a, uh, had an attraction uh, towards me uh, to challenge myself and to see where the limits were. What I actually like the most uh, about backyard running is uh, the social uh, part of it. Running together with uh, like-minded, crazy people in a circle. Um, because in other ultra events, you don't see often a lot of participants. You see the, the same guys or girls uh, that you, uh, you have the same tempo with. But within a backyard, you, uh, there is a reset every hour. So uh, you can join up with other runners and you get to know them. And that's, that really, uh, it pushed me uh, that far because it, within the first two days, you uh, speak with a lot of different people. And before you know it, you're already in the second day and uh, that makes it that pleasant. And then when it gets tough, because you know them by running that far with them, uh, it really helps you pushing your own limits because you're not alone. And then the other thing is because, yeah, due to the fact that you're together there, not alone, uh, you really push yourself. Uh, and that's what I like about the, the mental part, about the backyard. It's not about running fast. It's about running far uh, and together. And then you, uh, you have your personal best as well. I think the most uh, difficult within backyard is the uh, once it gets hard, hard for you, uh, to not focus on the things that go wrong, but focus on the things that you can control. And uh, uh, you get sucked into your problems, uh, but you need to zoom out. You need to resolve what you can solve and just uh, continue. 
for me it's not that hard to start a loop um the the, the twice that i dropped out was because i was uh, timed out uh, because i lost the way during night because i was hallucinating um so stay focused uh hop on the train and stay on the train that's the most difficult i think the reason that i have it is because i don't fuel enough eh? because i uh, i lack the glucose uh, but for me they're not that strong it's more like i'm in a the colors change around me uh it's like i'm in the clouds uh, red clouds uh but when i when i don't focus too much on it they're not that bad but when i start to focus on them then i uh, start panicking a little bit because i'm uh, losing a little bit of control but when i zoom out they go away and uh, i can continue so uh, last year i had them a lot but now this year they're better and uh, i think it's because i have a better fueling plan now that i can overcome them easy when they come up i fuel and then they go away and uh, that's how i can continue and it's also due to the sleep deprivation eh? that the combined with the fueling uh, is a uh, is why you get hallucinations but not everybody gets them but i get them and they're quite uh, cool actually it's like your uh, unicorn and blue clouds and uh, during the satellite uh, team championship uh, the event um, the guy that uh, that actually uh, set up the event for a Belgium team, he said to me uh, during the third loop, if you go for 60 loops, you will get into the uh, big dog. Uh, it, what they will own you. Uh, you will get in the list to, uh, to participate in big dog. By that moment, I didn't know what big dog was. I was a newbie uh, in the team. Uh, they considered me a black horse so I was just there participating pushing myself and then I said okay 60 hours okay maybe that's possible um, and then I've talked with Frank who is also participating in the Belgium team and he said yeah big dog it's really it's the event for Backyard Ultra and then during the loops I uh, looked it up at my cell phone <laughs> so uh, I had something to do uh, so uh, they said, yeah, it's in Tennessee, uh, it's from Lass, the guy who also, and I knew the Bar Barkley Marathons, but I didn't know Big Dog uh, Backyard. And I say, oh, I say, yeah, that's a unique event, maybe it's possible. So, And then uh, it got me to Loop 60. And uh, afterwards, I didn't find the motivation to, uh, to continue because yeah, that goal was put in my mind as a seat. How do I train for this event? Um, uh, of course, by running. Uh, a lot and uh, but I'm not the guy who runs 100 kilometers a week um, I'm more the guy who goes out running uh, I think about 60 or 70 kilometers was still a lot in a week but I also do a lot of uh, strength training uh, conditioning myself um, so uh, by doing twice a week strength training uh, core training I do a crossfit session each week and while I have tired legs, I run on that. So uh, one day I do a hard uh, training session for my legs. And then the day after I do a long uh, trailing, trail run to have the same feeling as I would be out for uh, already 50 kilometers. But I'm, I just left uh, my house. So uh, but then without having the impact, you have the same uh, uh, mental training, but also the physical training, I think. So that's my way I, I prep myself. And also due to the fact that we, uh, where I live in North Belgium, we, we lack hills to train on. So I uh, train on a treadmill. I bought myself a treadmill last year so that uh, I can put on an angle. So I uh, walk and run up hills. Uh, and I also now and then uh, use the Stairmasters in the gym to train uh, my legs for, to, to run uphill. You should have a strategy, a kind of uh, principle plan. But along, uh, that's my way, you need to be flexible right? to, to adapt your plan along the way. And I, I think you don't have to have a goal in your head. Uh, once you have a goal in your head, uh, once you pass that goal, your why is gone and uh, it will be hard to continue. That's how I, uh, that's what I think. So my strategy is to go as far as possible and to win, of course. Uh, I think that's a strategy uh, I will now try to uh, 
emulate from from Heerten, from Ivo and from the guys I've run with. Uh, and it worked the last time in Antwerp, so maybe it will work uh, during Big Dogs. I think it's the combination of mental and uh, physically. Uh, everything is actually physically. Eh? So if you fuel yourself and if you have the energy, you will have the mentality to continue. Um, if you have the, uh, how do you say, uh, if you're used to push yourself, uh, you can get far, but you need to have the physical capability to do so. So it's both actually, it's a combination. It's 100% neurologically, you need to have the energy to push yourself. Um, so if you would have asked me last year, I would have said 90% mental, 10% physically, but that's uh, that's a lie actually. You should, you should be ready for this uh, to go as far as possible. I'm grateful that I can be part of this unique event. Uh, great runners, great environment, uh, great uh, uh, team uh, team event uh, setup. Uh, Lars did a great job uh, on uh, assembling the uh, the most crazy runners in the world. So I'm really grateful to participate. I'm looking forward to get the experience from the other runners uh, to be to be social with them. Um, and I really feel good. I feel uh, mentally and physically uh, prepared to uh, to push the boundaries again. I think it will go beyond the 100 uh, loops. Even with, uh, with the hard course, uh, the day loop is quite hard. And the trail uh, up and down, um, I think due to the fact that you have a field that is actually quite strong and prepared and uh, mentally set up to go beyond 100, it will go beyond 100 uh, loops. Uh, that's what I think. And within the sport, I think uh, the sleep will be the hardest uh, sh hardest thing to overcome. That's the showstopper. I think the uh, the other things within the sport, it's, uh, it's doable. Um, but yeah, you haven't seen the end of it, I think. That's a young sport. So um, people already show it's possible. So uh, So it has to be possible for other humans as well.